I am Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. I'm in Paris at the uh, Musée de la Musique, the, the Museum of Music. And uh, right now we're in the, in the uh, 18th century, so all of these, all of these that I'm going to show you in this video are all from um, the time that the piano was starting to be developed. Um, so these are all harpsichords that we're going to look at. And, and this, this is a fantastic museum. You can, you can type in all of these numbers that correspond to each of these harpsichords. I wish, I wish I could share it with this video. I wish that were possible, but you can type it in and hear what each, each, of, these, each of these instruments sounded like. So this one is from 1732. Over here we have, uh, we have like a, it's, it's kind of a combination of a sort of a mini little pump organ. There's a little foot pedal, that's, so that's of course not a harpsichord. Um, also from the, uh, let's see, from that same era, about 1730s, over here. So of course, of course, uh, in this era, we're still in we're still in the aristocracy era. I mean, this is pre-French Revolution when, when you had uh, at least the beginnings of democracy in Europe, uh, and, and you can tell. I mean, this is really an aristocratic-looking. Um, part of the exhibit. All of this is what you would imagine from um, the, uh, what the American Revolution, the French Revolution was really fighting against. Everything is so ornate and so just over the top. And for, but from a musical standpoint, uh, I can also hear as I'm listening to each of these instruments. This one here is, um, let's see, this one's even earlier from the 1600s, you can, you can hear why the piano, why the piano uh, made, such a, made such an impact. These, these are beautiful instruments. They sound great as I'm, as I'm listening to it in the, in the headphones. But uh, something that strikes me as I listen to each one is that it kind of becomes a little bit uh, monotonous without the dynamic range that the piano forte introduced at this same time where you have dynamic range, uh, depending on how hard you depress the key. Huge improvement. So I'm getting to that part of this, uh, of, of the exhibit where the piano is invented. And uh, we'll do a, another video on that here in a second.